Hey guys, I'm in Orlando. It feels like so weird to be back here, but so amazing. Um, so right now I'm about to get on the Faco rail right there. And I'm gonna go catch the Magical Express to my resort at Pop Century. So, so excited, so, so excited. All right guys, so I finally made it. I'm at Pop Century Resort. I'm so excited to be here because I've never actually been to this resort, never explored, never stayed here. So I'm only gonna be here for one night, but I'm still really excited. And I'm in the 90s section, so fitting because 90s kid. Also, oh my God, guys, it is so hot. Like I knew it was gonna be hot this week. I checked the weather, but like, I forgot about this. So the 90s section is definitely the part of this section I'm learning, but it's fine. Almost there. All right, here we are, the 90s section. Looks like we're so far we get our own pool. So my building just has a giant laptop on it. It's perfect. And look, shout out to my company, ABC. Look at that. All right, here we are with my new purple magic band. Sweet. Oh, this is smaller than I expected. Ah. Ooh, this is why we don't vlog while rolling your luggage at the same time and opening a door. All right, so this is my room. Let's turn on a light here, hold on. It's not that small, it's like the same size as All Star. I think I was just used to Caribbean Beach because I was the last uh, Disney room I stayed in and it was bigger, obviously, because it's moderate. Not value, but this is nice. This is all I need for one night. Look at that Mickey mini bedspread, cute. Old table here. Ooh, is there a fridge? Not that I'm gonna use this, but that's cool. And the bathroom. What's up guys? Hey. Uh, <laughs> nice, okay. This is good. Ooh. Oh, there's lights, okay. It feels so good to be in air conditioning. And it feels so good to be back on Disney property. Uh, so I'm all settled in my room and right now I am starving. It's almost like two o'clock and I ate breakfast at like six or something stupidly early like that so i'm starving so i'm gonna go walk back to the main area and get some lunch and then maybe check out the gift shop because i have my training pins i want to use i need like a golf cart or something guys it's so hot <laughs> this is probably gonna be the theme of this trip is me being like oh my god it's so hot just because i haven't been here i haven't been here in the summer since my program but that doesn't even count because i started at the end of august so like it was hot but i don't think it was this bad and then when i left it was like in the 50s so yeah this is gonna be an adjustment all right so lunch was good i was gonna vlog it but it's just you know like a value resort cafeteria wasn't anything too special i'd say the highlights for me though were the house-made kettle chips which were so good and then i tried the tie-dye cheesecake which is like a pop century like exclusive dessert and i've always heard about it so that was good i like that too and then i got nice coffee because i'm gonna be dying of exhaustion soon so at this point you're probably like, okay Brenna, it's really nice that you got to your resort and all, but like when are we going to a park? So that's gonna happen like right now, but I'm not going where you expect. So <laughs> my season pass for Universal is still good and I think I'm gonna go use that right now. Um, don't worry, it's not gonna be all night. This isn't gonna be a whole Universal vlog. Definitely gonna do Disney things later, but I figured like might as well go ride Harry Potter a couple times and drink some butterbeer because this is probably my last chance to use my season pass. So just gonna pack my bag, stop by the gift shop because I forgot to when I was in the food court, but I have to go back that way anyway, so it's fine. And then we're gonna have a different kind of magical day. So as I make the walk between my room and the front uh, for the fourth time now, it's probably about time I actually show you the resort besides just my building. So here's the 80s section, look at that. The staircases for the 80s buildings are just giant Rubik's cubes, which is kind of cool. And then look, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head greet you at the entrance, so cute. And now we enter the 70s section, which is really cool. It's all like game themed. So they have a couple little stations set up like this with twister boards so you can play twister. And then we just have this giant foosball table that's just kind of here. And like, I don't know if you can tell how huge it is, but like, here's me. That's the foosball table. And then of course the boss himself. And now we're at the middle of the resort. So here's the main building and then it goes on to be the 60s and the 50s, but I'm not gonna go over there right now, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, now that I actually know where I'm going, the walk doesn't seem as bad as it did the first time I made it. <laughs> so I think another theme of this trip is me trying not to buy all the pins. Like, uh, I really want this one because I just saw a lot of them but we'll see. Hello guys, it's Brenna and today I am in the Magic Kingdom. There's Cinderella Castle. 
And today I'm just going to show you some places that you can charge your phone while you're here. Alright, so first in Tomorrowland, the place you want to check out to charge your phone is actually right here at the Space Mountain gift shop. So if you head to the back right near where the magic bands can be crossed with, there's actually a little alcove right here. And there are chairs and counters with outlets all over the place. So it's really good to just sit down and charge and then also it's air conditioned. So that's super nice.